What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of For the Love of Vinyl here on Sean Stack House Reacts. And just hold on, hold on just one second. Let me understand this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I asked uh, today on Twitter for, for you guys to send me things that I may have missed over the past week or so. And many of you have, and I'm, I'm very grateful. But <laughs> this video... This video says Adam Lambert singing Living on a Prayer at, at Glad Spirit Day. Um, I've never heard Adam Lambert perform a Bon Jovi song. And I mean, you can look over my right shoulder there. On top of Castle Grayskull is my favorite Bon Jovi LP, Keep the Faith. I am a huge Bon Jovi fan. And uh, it's no secret that... Um, I think Bon Jovi's quality has gone downhill like you would not believe. So let's get right into this. Let's get right into this. I like those shoes. Born on blondes. Oh, there it is. What? What? Flip it around. I... I I need to hear Adam. Come on. I've been in the audience many times for this song. Okay, that's the uh, half step or step up part and he's oh my look John Bon Jovi I love you man I love you but if um, when Queen decides to call it a day and you want to farm out your singing duties to Adam Lambert I'm good with it just get Richie Sambora back to play guitar whoo John hasn't been able to hit those notes since like 92. Talk box. Yeah, John can't do that well. I've always liked the bass line to this song. I want to hear the guitar solo, man. And make sure people... When... Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I, I have a legitimate question. Oh. Duh. Wrong screen. Okay. And, and I, I'm not singling out anybody, okay? But... When did people start wearing Debbie Gibson hats again? The last time I saw this hat, she was wearing it on a poster on my wall in, in like the late 80s. I, I didn't realize it had come back in fashion. So if somebody could let me know down below when the Debbie Gibson hat came back into fashion, I would be most grateful. I really would. Oh, come on, no guitar solo? I... 
Maybe. Come on. Don't don't cheat me out, man. Don't cheat me out. Man! Wow, that bass fill. All right, I mean, <laughs> I've got to give it up to Adam. I mean, he sings... That song better than John Bon Jovi has sang that. Well, okay. Look, I love Bon Jovi. I love what Bon Jovi used to be, okay? So, I know you want me to say that he sings that song better than John Bon Jovi ever has. And on a technical point, you're probably right. But there's just something about the original recording of that song, the the, the dynamic, the people who were there who were recording it, the voices, the way they melded, you know, living on a prayer is John Bon Jovi, Richie Sambora, Alec John Such, Tico Torres, and David Bryan. You know, without those five people, the song wouldn't be what it is today. However, Adam Lambert sang that song better than John Bon Jovi has in probably 30 years. 30 years. I just wish there was a guitar solo, man. I wanted to, I, I'm always, always interested in how somebody interprets Richie Sambora's guitar because R Richie Sambora literally taught me how to play guitar by listening to the, the albums over and over and over and figuring out how to play the song. So let me know what you guys think down below. This was awesome. This was awesome. Adam Lambert doing Bon Jovi. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So, uh, <laughs> woo, man, some of those notes he said, and he was putting grit. He was putting the grit on his voice, man, like that song requires. So, man, mm, I, I just wish there was a full, a full version because it kept repeating some, some parts and stuff, but man, that was something. And remember, I'll remember how to point, remember my links are on this side, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if uh, what you guys think down below. And until next time, remember, this is me hugging you over the airwaves. Mm. 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 <laughs> you feel that?